the PlayStation Classic Edition. So this thing released with 20 games built in, and let's face it, most of the games were not great. But thanks to Project Eris, you can actually install whatever games you'd like onto here. So all those games you loved for the PlayStation 1 can now be added. But now that you've got the PlayStation and Project Eris installed, you can now play PSP games. You could play actually a lot of emulators on this system, but today we're gonna go over the PSP and how to install PSP with the games onto the PlayStation Classic. But first of all, you're gonna have to have Project Eris installed, so I'll leave the link to the tutorial video right here, or you can go to Mod My Classic. I'll put a link in the description down below. Once that's done, let's add PlayStation Portable. Let's go. All right, now to the exciting part. You're gonna to go to the Mod My Classic website. The website is right here. I'll also leave a link in the description down below. And once you're on the mod page, you're going to scroll down because you're going to be looking for the PPSSPP mod file. Now, when you scroll down and find that file, you're going to click on it to download. So let's go find it here. And you can see it's right here. So go ahead and click on that. It'll start the download. This download doesn't take long, so you don't have to worry. It's just a few seconds. All right, once that's done downloading, you're going to go over to the file location. So if you click on the little folder here, it's going to bring up where it's located. Mine is located in my downloads folder, as you can see here. Now, the next step you're going to do is you're going to go to the flash drive that you have created for Project Eris and the PlayStation Classic. So that's the one that's labeled Sony. Now, now there's a few folders here. You're going to go into the one that's labeled Project Eris. Open that one up. And then you're going to find the mod folder. Now, once you click on that, that folder is going to be empty. Don't worry. This is where we're going to add the mod to it. So take your PPSSPP mod, take that file, drag and drop into the folder that is labeled mod. Once that's into the folder, we're going to go back to the root of the Sony flash drive. As you can see here, it's drive F. and you want to open up the ROMs folder. Now, all of the systems that you can download, all the emulators, you can put all of those games into these folders to keep it organized. So we're going to go down to the PSP folder. That's where we're going to add our ROMs. All right, once that folder's open, you're going to go to where your ROMs are located. And then just highlight all these, or at least the games that you want, and drag and drop into that ROMs folder. This takes a very long time depending on how many games you're adding, so I've sped it up just for the video. And now they are on the flash drive. So you're going to take the flash drive out of your PC and you're going to put it into your PlayStation Classic. Alright, we've got the system loading up right now. First thing you're going to notice is that it's got the Project Eris loading screen, which is showing that it's downloading and installing everything that it needs to in order to run the PPSSPP mod. Now on the boot menu, we've got this icon. So it's added this icon, and this is your emulator for playing PSP games. All of our games are right there in the menu, so you can go down and pick whichever game you want to play. I'm going to do Ratchet and Clank just to kind of show you that not every game runs completely smooth. This game has a lot of frame rate issues. It's got a lot of uh, sound issues as well. So what I've done is I've taken out the sound so that you can see that it, it's still a bit choppy, but it still runs if you want to play Ratchet and Clank on here. I noticed God of War does the same thing. It's got some choppy sound and a bit of choppy video. But if you mess around with the settings, there are things like fixing the frame rate. You can have frame skip on it. But those things will all help in the performance. And then there's some games that run completely smooth, which I'll show you with Final Fantasy Crisis Core. So I'm going to skip through all this stuff so you can just go straight to seeing the gameplay. Now with looking at the gameplay, you can see that it's not 100% smooth, but I've got it to the point where it's actually running semi-okay. So now that you've seen this on something that kind of plays with a little more high stress on the system, we're going to go and pick Final Fantasy Crisis Core because this game runs perfectly smooth, and I kind of want to show you just how well the system can run this PSP game. I'm only going to show you short clips on here. I don't want any problems with strikes. 
I've noticed that there are strikes from this company every once in a while, so I just want to make sure that I'm not playing too much of it. But here it is. You can see the cutscene looks perfectly smooth. There are no frame drops. It is running, as you can see up in the top corner, at 30 out of 30, which is 100%. We'll just skip right through this. I'll show you a little bit more of the uh, cutscene parts because the cutscene parts just look beautiful in this game. This is one of my favorite PSP games of all time. I thought it was fantastic. I actually like it a lot more than 7 Zach, itself. Focus. I know that's going to get some controversy from a lot of people there that love no Final Fantasy 7. This train. But Understood. this game, I just I found the storyline was much better than 7. And just to throw it out there, my favorite Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy 6. All right, now you can see this is the uh, in-game footage. It's still kind of a cutscene here, but You'll I'll skip forward and we'll get to the actual gameplay. And here it is, combat in-game, no frame drops. This looks absolutely beautiful. So now you can play your PSP games on the PlayStation Classic. So go ahead, mod your PlayStation Classic, put the PSP emulator on there, and try out what games work best on here. Thank you so much. I hope you found this video super useful and you were able to do it yourself. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.